won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we thought we'd do something a little bit different and just show a full day of eating. Um, now I am on a cut. I am trying to kind of get down to the 130s by the end of the month. So it might not be as many calories as you might think on a training day especially like that I'd consume. Like typically you think strongman like oh, 10,000 calories a day but that's usually yeah. not the case um 10,000 calories possibly like before a massive competition if you're on a big bulk or carb up for competition but um usually it's just it's not that high um uh, my calories are around 2,900 um but that's why I'm cutting if I'm not cutting usually it can go up to about 4,000 a day so for breakfast we have um Greek yogurt, I'll be mixing that with some of the vanilla ice cream flavour, protein powder, with some strawberries and some toffee caramel flavour uh, syrup. So this is only 69 calories per 100ml and I use about 10ml so it's about 7 calories and it adds a little bit of like toffee flavour and I'll sprinkle some honey nut cornflakes over the top just for a little bit of crunch okay that sounds it's like a weird contraption why <laughs> it's really nice it's like um, a pudding cereal bowl kind of thing um i always weigh literally everything I usually do 200 grams of yogurt that's bang on So then do around 20 grams you made a mess I know it's typical me then I will chop up some strawberries and so with me I've had um, a pretty bad like kind of binge eating kind of way of life so if I feel like I'm restricted from something, it makes me want it more and it makes me just crave it and then I end up binging and I don't end up kind of sticking to the diet as much. So we've tried so many different things, we've tried like meal plans, we've tried like having like um, a cheat meal once a week or once every fortnight and things and it kind of works but then I'm still craving stuff through the two weeks so the way that i do it is like 80 20 so i have 80 percent really good nutritious food and then i'll have 20 percent or sometimes less than 20 percent but i allow myself up to 20 percent of like treats and like unhealthy um, foods yeah penny nut cornflakes this is i know it probably looks really weird but don't knock it till you've tried it it's amazing. So Paul will give me the macros that I have every day. Um, sometimes that changes depending on if I'm training, if things are like lagging behind, like if my strength isn't very good and things of that day. Um, but I eat whatever I want within those macros. But obviously I try and get a lot of it to be good nutritious food. Um, so yeah, I will get Paul to put the macros and the calories for each meal up on the screen so you can follow along with how I do through the day. I got a parcel. I think I know what it is but I'm not 100%. Oh. What have you got? 
t-shirt. More t-shirts. Hoodies. And more t-shirts. Nice. Might be because I might be competing in a certain show in November. So this is going to be meal number three, but I'm just prepping it on my lunch break from work, so it's ready for when I finish work before we can head to the gym. It's going to be a turkey curry, and um, so it's got mushrooms, onions, red and green peppers, lean turkey meat, and. Um, I never really buy meat full price. It's always <laughs> half price. It's just expensive having like a really high protein diet and if I can cut costs on like what I'm eating then I can kind of allocate more money to like my cryotherapy and equipment and things like that that I need. Yeah, and um, especially for the lean meat, it's really expensive, isn't it? Yeah, so, so to get that half, pa half price, um, it saves us a decent bit of money um, and I will literally do that whenever I go shopping it's just and you don't lot. like having the fats do you like so high you like carbs don't you so yeah i like a lot more carbs i just feel like i keep me fuller um i do supplement with cod liver oil and the omega-3 fish oils as well um and i do have like fish in my diet as well like yesterday i had the tuna jack potato i'll have fish pie with salmon and stuff in as well so i do get my healthy fats in but i just rather not waste it with kind of like fatty meat or with oils and things like that so I do tend to cook quite lean so that will cook off and then I will put some coconut She's milk made a mess again here. Yeah, <laughs> I clean it up after yeah, yeah. so I make so put some coconut milk in and some chopped tomatoes with some curry powder garam masala garlic granules ginger cumin and some mixed herbs meal number two will be a chicken caesar salad um and because it's not got enough protein in, i'm gonna have some pork steaks that i cooked last night um, and i'll just chop them and either put them in it or eat them on the side just to make sure that i've got enough protein um as you might see um i'm not having as many carbs through the morning so like this salad is pretty low carb um, and obviously a lot of protein. I like to start my day with a lot of protein and then focus my carbs around my training session. Um, this helps fuel my training better. It means that I can get my protein in as well earlier on and just help recover from the like yesterday and the day before. Yeah, because you're always recovering and you're always training. Yeah, so just it just means that I've got an excuse then just to get my protein in and then I'll shove a load of carbs in pre and post training so my training is fueled. So you add in, in some spinach. Yeah, um I wouldn't usually chop it up but um Paul's having some of this and he doesn't like massive chunks of food. That is the turkey coconut curry sausage. It does look good, doesn't it? Yeah. A protein yogurt and just a bag of onion rings. It's a really fancy something to snack on while I'm working. Okay. So my curry is in the microwave. I've done Paul's curry. So yeah, basically just some microwave rice. I have a full sachet of this before training. Um, so that'll give me about 70-ish grams of carbs plus whatever else I choose to have. Plus the carbs that's in the curry itself. So it'll be a decent pre-training meal. What are you doing? After dinner snack. Mini meringues. They're quite cute. Um, so I'm just going to have a few of these 
per three of these there's um, 32 calories so now that that meal's done with we are off to the gym to get some pressing in um, I will have a can of rain before the gym um, but today's pressing is going to be just general pressing with some logging. Paul's putting some logging for the first time in a while. Um, partly because next week in Wales Strongest Woman there's a max log and I may or may not go for a Welsh record depending on if log is my friend or not. I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of sh come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. And what was left over, I put towards my dreaming. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for, believe me. Take into your hands a plan. Your own hands can land your own brand. And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability. They want the credit. Ability, convincingly unwilling to put in the f hours it takes to get some power Don't be f***ing sour, take a cold shower Scream until you're louder, work until you're prouder And f*** all the doubters, they're just your downers I swear to God they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm f***ed off at these f***ing clowns Who were all taught they deserve an ounce It's only worth it if you work for it it's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown So I'm feeling a little bit hungry, um, so while we drive home, I will have a protein bar. 
Alright, so what have you got here, Dan? Um, I have a jack potato with tuna and light mayo with some uh, coleslaw. Two tins of tuna because obviously it need all the protein and then some ice gems for after. That's your favourite, isn't it, ice gems? I absolutely love ice gems. Yeah, you should be sponsored by them. They're like the perfect diet snack though, because they're like 90 calories, but they just kind of like hit the spot, sweetness wise. So. so that is my day of eating done. I was going to have a protein shake, but um, I think we got back from training a little bit late and I'm just feeling a little bit tired. I'm not feeling very hungry and I had like quite a lot of protein in that last meal. Uh, so I'm ending the day a couple of hundred calories shy of my goal um, but it is what it is I'm not going to force feed myself if I'm not feeling like too hungry no because you're cutting now aren't you so yeah like I feel like I've had enough to eat like I don't feel hungry I don't feel like I could go and eat another meal kind of thing so it's really good and yeah i hope you enjoyed it if you want me to record another one of these maybe in the car but for a competition or even just another kind of day of eating just let me know and i will put some different things in different things that i like to eat so yeah i hope you enjoyed the session hope you enjoyed a little kind of look into what i eat on a daily basis so please like share and subscribe it would mean a lot to me and yeah I'll see you in the next one